Hi everyone, it's John the Science Guy, and welcome once again to my lab. I have a great question for you. Have you ever had to read something, and then when you read it, it actually wasn't exactly what you thought it was? For example, have you ever tried to take your hand and pat your head, right? And then go like this with your hand. And then if you do this, and you try to go like this, it's, 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 it's not as easy to keep flipping from one to the other. Well, our experiment today is based on a very similar uh, technique, but not exactly the same. It's called the Stroop Effect. Uh, it actually originated back in 1935 when they did the original uh, discovery of it. Now, I'm gonna hold up this piece of paper. And I'm sure you've read um, colors before, but go ahead and just humor me and just read the top row, starting with the word red. So go red, purple, blue, orange, green. Do it again. Red, purple, blue, orange, green. Red, purple, blue, orange, green. What the heck is he doing? What is he, wasting my time here? All right. If you thought that was interesting or a waste of your time, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Either or, we would appreciate it. All right, so now what I want you to do is I want you to not read the words. I want you to look at the words on the top, and I want you to say the words based on the color it is. The top one, again, with the word red. So what color is that? Red, purple, blue, orange, green. Do it again. What color is it? Red, purple, blue, orange, green. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to just read the words on the bottom row. Just read the words. Green, orange, purple, red, blue. Green, orange, purple, red, blue. Green, orange, purple, red, blue. All right. Well, that doesn't seem very different. All right. Let's try something else. If you were able to do that and had no trouble, go ahead and comment in the spot below. Uh, also, let me know if you're having fun. All right. So now what I want you to do is I want you to actually look at the second row and I want you to tell me what word it is based on the color. So don't read the word, tell me what color it is based on the word. Are you ready? What's the first one? What's the second one? What's the third one? What's the fourth one? What's the fifth one? If you had trouble saying the words from the colors, go ahead and tag your friends, colleagues, and associates and share it with them. Why was that? Let's try it again. Does it feel like a mental battle in your brain that even though the word says green, if I ask you what color is, you just, you can't, you know the next one, it says the word orange, but if I ask you to, you can't get the word orange out of your mouth. You know the next one says purple, but you just can't get the word purple out of your mouth. The next one's red and you just, something's fighting you and the blue. All right, so why do I bring this to your attention? Well, the Stroop effect is really interesting. But have you ever had a challenge in life where you knew the answer to something was something? However, when somebody else wanted you to say the answer was something else, when you knew that wasn't the correct answer, you had to pause or hesitate. If I said to you, do you agree with me? You definitely agree with me. Or you don't agree with me, do you? Like, what's he doing? You're confusing the brain. And that's what the Stroop effect actually uh, helped to uh, emphasize is that point. Thus, the next time, um, you can do this with your friends and have, have lots of fun with them uh, without even having any alcohol. So when you think about something in life and you know it's a certain way, but you can't say it because somebody else wants you to say something else, you could say the first thing, but they don't want you to say it. But then when they want you to say something else, you're like, you like that pause, right? All right, so what this really means is you gotta be true to yourself and true to others. So you can't make something 
of what it really isn't. You have to be truthful. When you're truthful in life, you get good credibility and people uh, develop respect for you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am John, the science guy. Thank you so much for joining me in my science lab today. And I hope you enjoyed this experiment. And if you did, I encourage you to click on that subscribe button. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. And I want you to smash that bell notification icon. Why? So YouTube will be able to improve its algorithm and show this video out to lots of other great people that want to learn more about science. And remember, science is not just chemistry. It's not just experiments. It's actually how our brain functions. I'm John, the science guy. I had a lot of fun um, with you visiting my lab today. I hope you'll come back and see me again real soon. We'll have another great experiment just for you.